Nashville is changing a lot these days too with a lot more diversity, more people coming here from all over the globe. The benefit of that is all kinds of exotic foods at ethnic restaurants. Recently, Danielle Allen discovered a taste of the islands in the Berry Hill community of Nashville. Where can you find authentic Dominican, Cuban, and Puerto Rican food? You could pack your bags and fly to Latin America, or just drive to Berry Hill. Our food is a little bit different, but it's so full of taste, full of flavor. This is the Meringue Cafe. It's a little house that's filled with dishes packed with big flavors. It's also a place where the servers are just as authentic as the food. Dee Costello is the owner of the cafe. She makes sure everyone feels welcome, especially if they've never eaten there before. So you guys first down here? Awesome, come on in. Our food is not too well known on Nashville. So I love to see people curiosity about it when they come. Most of the people that come for the first time, we welcome them like if we know them forever. Welcome. Yeah. <laughs> we basically explain with detail what everything is. The way a picnic works is you get one choice of rice, one choice of beans, one choice of meat, and then also we have uh, salad included in the plate as well. You know, I love to see their faces when they finish eating, and some of them even do like, yes. Because Dominican, Cuban, and Puerto Rican foods are so similar, Dee figured, why not serve all three? These traditional dishes are made from scratch with fresh ingredients. They're then laid out for customers to see. Choosing at the buffet, you can get a little bit of everything. But our number one most popular dish is the mofongo, which is smashed green plantains. We fry and then we, we stuff it with coconut shrimp or garlic shrimp or any other meat. That's definitely a try. You have to. Of course, Dee doesn't do all of this alone. She has several cooks and her mother and son help too. And apparently, working with family has its perks. Well, that you can yell to them and you don't get sued. <laughs> ah, you Akita. Before Dee was cooking up mouth-watering dishes, she was honing her skills as a businesswoman. Back in the Dominican Republic, she opened her first business at the age of 22. She later moved to the U.S. about 10 years ago and helped others get started. But when the idea for the Meringue Cafe came about, she was a little hesitant at first. I was not looking, I was not ready. I was a little bit scared and one day, I was looking for something on Craigslist for a customer that was opening a restaurant that I was helping to open a restaurant. And I saw this posting, business location for rent on Berry Hill. And I call, and actually the owner of the place answer. We have a such a good communication and he was so nice and I feel comfortable. I came, it was a, a tiny little house, which I loved it. It was a lot of work. I, immediately, I just felt that it was right. And plus, the house offered this homey environment that I love. Dee added to the homey feel with the decor in the cafe. In fact, she took a hands-on approach and was involved in every part of the dining area. I was very hands-on. And the people that was working with me, helping me, they can tell, oh my gosh, I was on everything. I chose the wood for that bar, I choose my floor, we did our tables, we did our chair, we painted and repainted like three times until I got satisfied. <laughs> All the paint you see is one of my cousin work. My son has his spot, this is my son's spot with his guitar and all that. If you ask Dee why she worked so hard on the details, you'll hear a theme that's brought up often here authenticity. I want to feel it like mine, like something that I create. The only way I could have passed to order the proud that I feel from coming from where I'm coming from 
It's if I actually put a little bit of meat into it. Happy birthday! How old are you? 21. Oh my goodness! <laughs> if I want people to know a little bit about our culture, I definitely need to go involved because hiring a contractor, it will not be the same. They will do an awesome job, but it will not be personalized. You don't find many restaurants in Middle Tennessee like the Meringue Cafe. So in some ways, Dee feels like she's filling a void and giving her fellow Nashvilleians a taste of a place she once called home. The feeling that I'm creating something that I can transmit to people a little bit of what we are and what we eat, that it's amazing. It's an amazing feeling. Thank you ladies for coming. Have a good one. Bye, de nada. <laughs> Bye.